Hello, welcome back to TCG Dreamland, installment number two of our retrospective of Scarlet and Violet Year One. Paldea Evolved. This set actually has held up fairly well. Looking back at the top hits in the set, uh, top hit, surprisingly, Magikarp Illustration Rare. Very weird that an Illustration Rare of Magikarp of all things, would be the top hit. But uh, let me tell you before I forget, there will be a giveaway. We are giving away the best hit of the box, as I do always from since I hit a thousand subscribers. Started doing that, and I am planning on doing that forever and ever. Great Ball, Magnemite, Cereal Edge. So we are looking for Magikarp or... Iono, both the special illustration rare and the full art. Those are the second and third highest value hits in the set, respectively. So, let's see. Pyroar, Gargle Salt. I like calling that guy Gargle Salt because it's funny. <laughs> All right, I'll try to go relatively quickly. But uh, yeah, these boxes are roughly $110, which is at least above distributor pricing, <laughs> unlike Scarlet and Violet Base. So $110, not bad if you are someone that is looking to buy or hold or something. You know, I'd say Scarlet and Violet in general, is not as good as previous gens, like Sun and Moon especially. Sun and Moon is skyrocketing in value for sealed booster boxes. Pikachu EX, double rare for our first hit. Very cool. There are many Sword and Shield sets as well that are going up in value. You can see, so this being a year one set of the new block, if you consider each gen a block, kind of. Um, the first year of each block tends to not be as great as years two or three. And we even have seen that with Sword and Shield. We've got a Tinka Tink illustration rare. Price should have popped up on screen. Um, even with Sword and Shield and Sun and Moon, year one was not the cream of the crop for sets in those blocks. So don't expect, especially Scarlet and Violet Base, don't expect those to be amazing either for your sealed collection or investment wise. There are other sets I would definitely buy before Scarlet and Violet Base or even Paldea Evolved, for that matter. But this set is actually not doing bad. Still has quite a bit of value in the set, if you pull an Iono or a Magikarp. So, we've got Nimble, Corviknight, Slacking. Going a little bit faster through the bulk because once you're a year out from the set release, the bulk is pretty much worthless. So, ooh, a reversal energy. The reverse hollows for collectors can still have some value. If you're a seller, you know, I keep the reverse hollows because, you know, there might be someone out there still putting together a master set at some point. The reverse hollows still do sell. I mean, I'm still selling Reverse Hollows that I have from, like, X and Y and Sun and Moon era. So it's like, I never... I'll get rid of bulk after the set goes out of rotation. I'll typically get rid of all the bulk, but I always keep the Hollows. Combi, Veluza. Because there's going to be someone someday putting together a Master Set, and the Reverse Hollows can be a little bit more difficult to come by. So, what do we have in this pack? Corviknight. We've got Tarantula, 
Gyarados, very cool. And Rapska. We've only gotten two hits so far. Although for the number of packs we've gone through, that's not particularly low. We're only about a quarter of the way through the box. Alright, what do we have? Dendra. Palisand. Reverse Krogunk. Ooh, Sawaro. There is our special illustration rare. It is possible to get two, however. So do not lose hope. I have seen boxes with two special illustration rares before. So, hopefully, we'll get something good for our giveaway. And not only that, but the highest card in the set is actually just a regular illustration rare, not even a special illustration rare. So, never lose hope until you've opened the last pack and seen the last card. I've literally opened the best card of a whole box on the last pack before several times on this channel, including alt arts from Pokemon. I've also done it with a serialized Doctor Who card for Magic the Gathering. It's on the very last pack of the box I pulled a serialized Doctor. Really cool. Super Rod, Hydreigon, Chi Yu EX, double rare. Very cool. Brings us up to four hits. All right, Iono. Still could get the full art Iono. The full art Iono is the third highest hit in the set. So two of the three highest hits in the set actually aren't even special illustration rares. So that kind of actually brings... Ooh, Annihilate! I really like Annihilate. Very nice. Full art Annihilate. Very cool. All right, we'll put that there, I guess, for now. Annihilate. The tagline for Annihilate should be the most metal Pokemon ever. All right, Bramblin, Grafii, which had a collection box recently, Spiritomb. All right, three packs left for the first half of the box. Yeah, actually, you know, now that I think about it, the top three cards in the set are an illustration rare, a special illustration rare, and a full art. So that's quite a spread there. It's not like it's just all special illustration rares, where if you don't get a good special illustration rare, then you're just, you know, out of luck. You know, there's actually still some good stuff you could get in less rare slots. Azumarill, Salt Stack, Limit, Oricorio. All right. Last pack of the first half. Let's see what the first half had, how many hits the first half had. Pineco. Flamigo, Illustration Rare, cool, and Wigglytuff. All right, wow, so six hits in the first half. We went from not having very many to having more than average. All right, Phalanx, Vespaquin. There's an Iono, but not one we're looking for. Rookedy, Clavel, Gargle Salt. Larvitar, Azumarill, got Vespaquin, Bramblin, Baxcalibur. Let's see, we're making pretty good time on the video. Pokemon videos always take longer because there's 36 packs in a box. All right, Corvus Squire. We've got Reverse Mankey. 
Litleo, and Boss's Orders with Getsis. Cool. Every few sets they print out a Boss's Orders because it is a very good, very playable card. Iono again. We've got a Reverse Raichu, Faulkner, and a Paldean Claude Sire EX Double Rare. Very cool. That brings us up to three Double Rares. What do we have here? Tropius, good old banana tree. Merrill, Obama Snow, Sneasel, Mastiff, Mabostiff. We've got Mastiff, Reverse, Luminous Energy, and Veluza. I can feel it. I can feel it. We've got something good coming. I've had a few no-hit packs in a row now. I can feel something good. Snover, Arctibax, Oricorio. Merrill, Mankey, Delabird, Sawaro, for Ridge Giraffe, we've got Reverse Pseudo Wudo, Fue Coco, Jumpluff, Palmy, Larvitar, Primeape, we've got Reverse Larvitar, cool. And, ooh, Squawkabilly EX. So we did get a second special illustration rare. Very cool. I dare say that one's probably better than Sawaro, but I don't know. Pokemon typically are better than trainers, unless the trainer is a really playable card. So we got a double special illustration rare box. Neither of them were Iona, though. All right, still, we're still looking. You typically get three illustration rares per box, so we could still get the Magikarp. That would be awesome. Paldean Tauros. Oh, Arctibax. <laughs> well, you know, we're still, we could still get a full art. <laughs> Never lose hope until the last pack. Slowking EX, double rare. All right, never lose hope until the last pack. In that many packs, we could still get a couple of hits, at least one hit. Siru Ledge, Hariyama, and Hariyama again. Got some fraternal twins. Clavel, Noivat, Mousehold, Reverse Voltorb, Bravery Charm, Wigglytuff, so I think this would be a pretty good example of actually an average box, you know, you don't Always get one of the top three hits in the set in a box. Copperaja EX Double Rare. Put that over here. All right, how many packs left? Five packs. Still could get a hit. Still could get a full art Iono. 
It is possible. Magikarp, Calamitous Wasteland, Hydreigon, Pineco, Mankey, Fletchinder, Calamitous Wasteland, Calamitous Snowy Mountain, Satoddle, Skeledurge EX Full Art. Alrighty. Three packs left. We have 12 hits already. I want to keep those on screen. Wow, so this box I'd say is a good case study. Which is part of the reason I was doing this was just to see you know, we're a year after set release. You know, what's the value of a box? What's the value that you can pull out of a box? It's kind of the whole point of these videos I'm doing for the year one sets. So 12 hits, pretty good number of hits. Vigoroth, Choice Belt, Palmot. Gyarados. Last pack. Can we get a last pack 13th hit? All right. Watchroll. Tinkatink. Bramblegast. Superior Energy Retrieval. Luxray Reverse. Bombardier Reverse. And Sableye. All right. So 12 hits. Nothing particularly amazing, unfortunately. Was a good number of hits, and we got some cool stuff. I actually do not know off the top of my head. You should have seen already because prices are popping up on screen. But uh, top card of the box will be given away. Got some cool stuff. All right, so make sure to write a comment if you want to win the top hit of the box. Make sure to subscribe so you know when I post videos because I do a, a giveaway for every box I open. And I'll see you guys in the next video.